Hey guys, Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite local critters, which is this guy, the common snapping turtle. Now, we've got a number of different turtles around here that'll snap, but common snappers are one of our largest turtles and they're easy to identify because look how long their tail is. Uh, snapping turtles are the only common long-tailed turtle that we have around here and uh, they get to be fairly large. The record on these guys is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 pounds. Now around here, the uh, biggest one I've ever seen that I actually weighed was 33 pounds. And you know, there used to be all these old wives tales like when they bite you, they don't let it go till it thunders, or I can bite a broomstick into. Actually, the one that was 33 pounds probably wasn't a nice thing to do, but somebody was there and they insisted that this could take a finger off with a bite and so we got him all riled up and let him bite a pencil and he put a pretty good dent in the pencil but he didn't even break the pencil in two so anyway so this is a common snapping turtle and this is a small one but one thing that people are constantly confusing common snapping turtles with is this other guy I got down here now these two guys happen to be about the same size. They've both got the same long tail, okay? Now, alligator snapping turtles are the largest freshwater turtle in North America with weights of over 200 pounds at times. And like I said, they're, they're not commonly recorded from Illinois, just a handful of times, but uh, there was one wild one found fairly recently and IDNR has a program to try to reestablish populations in Southern Illinois. But these guys, both turtles have some points on their shells and stuff, but notice the alligator snappers a little more so. Um, it keeps that all its life as an adult. It will still have those ridges on its shell. Whereas the older a common snapper gets, this, the, at least the top of the shell is not nearly as rough. And they both have that long tail, but on this common snapper, if we look at his beak, it's kind of pointed, but if we look at the alligator snapper, boy, his beak is a lot more pointed. And you also might notice inside his mouth, there's a little bright red thing. Well, that's what they call a vermiform appendage, but it's part of his tongue and it's full of blood vessels and it looks like a worm. And in the wild, these guys prey predominantly on fish and they wiggle that little tongue thing like a worm and a fish comes in there to grab it and then they nail him. Whereas the common snapper, he probably feeds mostly on invertebrates and also scavenge a lot of dead stuff. Um, but anyway, the, the alligator snapper is a turtle of big rivers and creeks and the females probably only even leave the water to lay eggs and uh, some herpetologists have speculated that the males don't leave the water at all. Um, so when you see a big turtle crossing the road, it's going to be a big common snapper. Um, alligator snappers are just really super rare in Illinois, although they have been found as far north as Minnesota. Uh, they're again in big rivers and it seems like those far northern ones are always male. Looks like some uh, male alligator snappers just spend their whole life walking up river. So alligator snapper, common snapper. Both are only two long-tailed turtles in Southern Illinois, and they're just really cool.